Mo fam, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Mo, and I make videos on the internet. That's it. That, that's all I do. They, they won't let me leave. <laughs> They said if I stop making videos, don't kill my family. Speaking of family, today's video actually shaved 10 years off my lifespan because of how fucking crazy it is. Excuse my language. It's fucking batshit crazy. What, what the fuck? Stop. What are you thinking? Ah. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. So I was just, you know, scrolling on YouTube and then I stumbled upon this video that was talking about how abusive family channels on YouTube have become and I fell down this rabbit hole and then I got here. I stumbled upon something I don't even know how to describe it. Trigger warning, okay? Abuse emotionally and physically. The channel's original name was called Family05. But when that account got deleted, they started a new one called Daddy05. Both channels got terminated by YouTube because the parents would basically just prank their kids, but the pranking was just them yelling and emotionally abusing their children. I have not watched most of their videos. I've only watched one. But it was enough for me to go down a rabbit hole of researching what the fuck is going on. Now, there was actually a controversy about this that like literally took over the internet a few years ago about channels that continue to be operated by convicted child neglectors from frederick maryland michael and heather martin they are on probation for emotionally and physically abusing their own kids in youtube videos with the three kids that they still have custody of but i just learned about this family so i'm going to give a little fresh perspective for the people who don't know what's going on join me because I, I don't either um, uh, it's scary. So the parents' names are Mike and Heather. That's already a red flag. Now, if you just search Family 05 prank into YouTube, the first result is he killed his brother, prank gone wrong. I feel like that gives us an idea about how crazy this family actually is. The next title, by the way, if you thought it was gonna get better, is just end of the world prank. I'm assuming where they pranked their kid and told them that it was the end of the world. Now, this is from a, an account that has actually archived all of their videos. I'm not sure if it's from the original creators. It seems to be some, like, third person who's kind of just, like, re-uploaded all their videos. And actually, there's a few channels like this. Um, since their account got terminated, people have re-uploaded their videos, and they still receive hundreds of thousands of views. So so the video starts off with the mom talking to the eldest sibling and asking him if he wants to prank his little brother. I want to call it prank on prank. I'm going to have him come in here and ask you to borrow your laptop or say that mom needs it for something. And then he's going to destroy it. Why? We're gonna get you a new one, that one's older. So basically, they're going to make Cody, the youngest sibling, think that he's getting revenge, but they're actually just pranking the youngest sibling, and they cleverly named it Prank on Prank. Mind you, this kid does not look like he wants to be in this prank. He does not look like he wants to be in this video. He's just playing his video game, minding his business, and his mom's like, yo, you wanna go like prank your brothers? Meanwhile, he's just in the corner like, why? I think that's what makes family channels so toxic is that these parents realize that it's like profitable to make videos off their kids and then these kids are just like, I, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, Why? Even this kid's confused. But you really can't be mean to him like that. And when we tell him, you can't be mean to him. But we are pranking him. But he thinks we're pranking you. So the lesson here is don't be mean to your brother, but we're going to prank the fuck out of him. Okay, I'm going to get my friend back from yesterday for destroying my room. Mind you, this kid looks like he's like eight years old. I'm already kind of just like, this is rubbing me the wrong way. Like just everything from the way the kids are reacting to the camera being in their face to the mom being like, it's gonna be a prank on prank. It's super dope. We're gonna get your brother back. But don't be mean. But we're gonna fuck this shit up. Also, we're buying you a new laptop. So like, shut up. Jacob, mom, you know that I just can't imagine the mob like recording this, like just walking into the corner of the room just like, hey. This is all just really ridiculous to me. Like usually we just argue about who's gonna do the dishes in my family, but I don't know, maybe, maybe we're the weird ones. <laughs> the intense stare at his mom, like, I got the laptop. Kid's adorable. I feel really bad for him. Okay, so now he's supposed to destroy the laptop. That's a part of the prank. Then after that, they're gonna prank him. He doesn't even know how to open the laptop. Where did the hammer come from? He literally just pulled that hammer from under his ladybug pillow. He's gonna come get you. I don't know. You better hurry up. <laughs> even the kid doesn't want to do it. He's like, it's a nice computer. Like, are you are you sure? It's a nice computer. 
Like, are you sure you want to do this? He's not going to give it to you. And it's actually old. He's had it for a while. Wow. I just want to know why this kid is literally destroying the shit out of this laptop with this hammer and his mom's just like yeah Woo! yeah that's right mind you she's gonna end up pranking him in the end so this is just her manipulating him into believing that he's getting revenge on his brother only for her to go back and prank him in the end of this video what are you doing stop don't hit him. Don't hit him. Really? Don't hit I him. I freaking hate you. Really? Why? I hate you. Mom told me to. Don't give me, excuse me. I break your Xbox. No. No. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Get it. Get off of him. You're not allowed. First of all, I think it's so weird the position that this kid's in because he knows that like his mom's setting his brother up So he's like kind of fake acting and his brother's just like mom said I had to do it. No No, your brother just said your mom made him do it and you're just like not questioning that at all You just start attacking him with a hammer and I like how the mom's not doing anything like she's still recording like the brother's like about to attack him with the hammer No No, you can't no no! My girl, put down the camera! You're stupid! No, you're stupid. Why would you break my laptop? No, I bet you did. I, I did. I told him to get you back. So gay. Why? It's just so stupid. This is some white people shit. Like, and I mean, I get it from like the older brother's perspective. Like, he knows that this is a joke, but the kid actually thinks that this is like for real. You know, like, he's gonna have trust issues growing up because he's not gonna be like, well, I don't know, is this a prank? Yeah, I, I feel like this is just causing so many problems for him, and it's so unnecessary like there are so many other things that you can do as a family channel for content other than like traumatizing your kid you still think it's a nice computer cody yeah really you it's all broken <laughs> this kid is so adorable like he's still playing with this laptop like he genuinely doesn't understand what's happening and the mom is just like you think it's a good laptop you think it's good oh, you think it's so nice For cody you can't use that you're an idiot. That computer was old anyway. He's just mad because he can't get on the internet. Get out. He's got mom idiot. shield. He's got mom shield. You better stop. I'll take your damn door off. You better stop. Even though I told you to technically do this. You better stop. You better stop. Heather. Heather. Let's wrap it the fuck up. <laughs> I don't want to. I mean, I. I wish I could go back in time so I could have said no. Really? Now I feel bad. He doesn't feel bad when he's leaving you. This kid genuinely feels guilty for breaking his brother's laptop after his mom like manipulated him into believing so. And now she's like literally guilt tripping him. Like he feels bad. And the mom's just like, no, 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 like it's okay. This kid just learned like, Oh, even if I feel guilty, they would have done it to me, right? Like, that's not a good life lesson to teach your kids. And I'm no one to tell someone how to parent their kids because I'm not a parent. I don't have kids. But I feel like we can all agree that this, even if it was a prank, still will linger with this kid for the rest of his life. Because when you're a kid, everything you hear is literally, like, absorbed to you. You are literally a sponge. And these little things are the building blocks you build your personality and character on. I don't, now, now I don't feel safe in my own room. <laughs> You're fine. I won't let I him get you. I am not fine. You have mommy shields. He can't hurt you or he'll be grounded. He just said he does not feel safe in his own room. Like, he does not understand that this is a joke. And his mom is continuously playing along and taking it a bit too far. Have I ever let him do anything to you when he you have mommy shields? He spilled some water on you. whoop de doo Oh god, it's water. She's just like invalidating and gaslighting the fuck out of him. He was just sitting there like, mommy shields are pretty strong. I mean, did he chase you with a hammer? Yes, but that, you're fine. You're Because this is, a, this is a prank. You don't know it's a prank, but it's a prank on you. Uh, no, I got it. Alex, get out of there. Look at the screen. I like Cody. 
get Jake back. <laughs> Look at this screen. And he's got mommy shield, so Jake can't do anything to him. That's what he gets for slamming him on the ground. Back up. Back okay. up. Mommy shields wow. mean that. You had it coming. Exactly. You had it coming for slamming him like that. And mommy shields me. I told him if he does that shit again, I'm taking the damn door off. I don't like that, but he ah! had it coming. He had it coming. Okay, I feel like the parents are, like, within these pranks, trying to teach their kids life lessons. Like, if you hurt your brother, like, there's consequences to your actions. But I think the consequences to their actions are not fair. And they also, like, don't make any sense. Like, because I body slam my brother, he's going to smash my laptop in with a hammer. I understand this is a prank, but I feel like the parents do try to, like, implement these life lessons in their videos. But all they're doing is just, like, confusing these kids, completely manipulating them and emotionally traumatizing this kid who like feels guilty that he broke his brother's laptop and now does not feel safe in his room. Cody said it was it was a nice computer he didn't want to do it. I said well it's an old computer but it, well, it is a nice computer. He's just mad because he can't get on his internet. Stop banging on the door. You can break stuff That's up. That's a little fucking ridiculous. You can let him break stuff up but I can't let him break stuff up. Well now he has to get a new one. He'll get a new one eventually. That one was older anyway. One. Exactly. So this mom promises this kid that he's gonna get a new laptop in the beginning. Oh, we're gonna have your brother, like, take your laptop and smash it. And we're gonna prank him, but don't worry, because we're gonna get you a new laptop. Why? We're gonna get you a new one. That one's older. And then, like, talks to the dad and is like, He'll get a new one eventually. That one was older anyway. Exactly. Oh, yeah. By the way, he's gonna have to work for that laptop. Like, he's gonna have to, like, actually, like, work to get a new one because we're not gonna buy it for him. You know, it's his fault. You know, he's the one who body slammed him into the floor. So that's what you get, right? Body slam someone, we smash your laptop. You know, that's how the world works. There is no understanding of, like, how punishments work in this family. I'm so confused on what the whole purpose of this was. That's glass. You tell me to. I help you out and you tell me to clean it up. It was you smashed it. I helped you all out and you tell me to clean it up. See that? I help him. Look. Clean I help him. I know I'm dead serious. Clean that shit up. Wait, you're gonna get cut. You clean it up. Oh! 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 Oh, wow. You know what would happen if I said that to my mom? I would be on the first boat back to the Middle East. I, I wouldn't be alive. It would result in my immediate and sudden death. I would completely vanish and disappear off God's green earth. So the fact that the whole purpose of this channel is to like show how these parents are like, you know, pranking their kids, but they're also disciplining them, but their kids still feel comfortable enough to like talk back to them like this. It just shows that this video is all bullshit and this channel is like literally just the family just trying to get clicks. Now, you're gonna cut yourself. You shouldn't even have had a damn hammer. Right, like, I, don't get me wrong, I, there's a lot of problems with the dad, but at least he realizes that, like, his son, that's, like, probably seven years old, shouldn't be having a hammer in his room. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing, I didn't do anything to you. <laughs> Cody didn't really destroy that laptop. He did destroy it, but he didn't really destroy it. Jake knew the whole time. So it was a prank. On Cody. That's it. That was the prank. That was the whole prank. <laughs> Even the dad was like, what? what? How was that a prank? He just destroyed his laptop without knowing that he know. I knew something was going on. <laughs> this has to be like the worst prank ever. Like no one wins in this situation. Like the older brother is still gonna have to work for a new laptop. The younger brother is stuck feeling guilty and just got pranked. The dad has to clean it up. And I'm stuck cleaning it up. <laughs> and the mom is just stuck there like filming the whole thing. Let's go tell Cody. Wait, stop, stop. Turn this off for a second. Put down on the bed over there. We pranked you. How? Because you didn't break up Jake's computer. Well, you did break up his computer, but he's getting a new computer. We pranked you. It was a prank. It made you think that you were getting the worst fucking prank ever. First of all, the mom looks way too enthusiastic to be breaking this bad news to her son. She's just sitting there like, hey, guess what? We fucking pranked you. Like, we pranked the shit out of you. Like, your brother knew the whole time and we made you feel guilty. Yeah, like, we totally pranked the fuck out of you. Isn't that awesome? Also, if you look closely at the video, the older brother is just like, 
playing with his toes and it's just like the most disturbing scene ever My Xbox off. Hello, you got pranked. You're yeah. talking about the Xbox yeah. not pranked. So what? Are you used fine. to it now? I don't really care <laughs> The little kid is just tired like he's so sick of being in these videos He's so tired of his family like constantly prank him. He's just like I don't care Get, get off of my toilet paper I mean, really. See, this is why you get. This is exactly why. I know you ain't hey. hit me. I know you ain't hit me. Sick. This is exactly why. This is exactly why your brother hit you. Now Cody. stop it. What just? First of all, y'all were just sitting down. Why is he getting hit? He just asked for his toilet paper and then he put his feet in his face. How is that his fault? Why are you hitting him? That older brother is literally an instigator. Like, he is instigating this whole situation. I find it so weird how the family was so quick to, like, hit the little kid and yell at him. Meanwhile, he was just trying to get his toilet paper back. Like, don't touch a dude's toilet paper. Don't touch his toilet paper. He's got your toilet paper because he touched his toilet paper. And this is exactly why... They knock him out. <laughs> Why is it that every single time the mom is like screaming at them, she has like the most high pitched voice? <laughs> Babe, he's seven. He's like seven years old. What does he know? Like, he's a child. You don't ever do that to me again. We were pl all playing with you, and he was trying to make you feel better for yesterday, and then you're gonna snap on him, and then you wanna snap on me. What's the purpose of humiliating him like this on the internet? Y'all literally broke this kid down into tears. Like, you broke him down into tears to the point where he's literally running back, crying to you saying, I'm sorry. And mind you, she's being so hypocritical right now because just a few minutes ago, she was yelling at him for not accepting his brother's apology, and now she's here literally just like lecturing him after he's trying to apologize to her. He came in here to apologize to you. I don't care. I'll never accept it. That's crazy. You're not gonna disrespect me like that when everybody in this house plays and Where's jokes my around. Toilet paper? Really? Why are you worried about toilet paper? Because I need it for my for when I use the bathroom. Do you know how many rolls of toilet paper I have in this house? Yeah, I know, but I don't want to waste it. Like the whole situation, the whole prank started with the mom and somehow ended up with Kobe crying. He let you beat up his computer that I gave him. He let you beat it up with a hammer to make you feel better for yesterday. Didn't it feel good to beat it up? No. You, really. you sure acted like you did. No, you! He didn't let you. He didn't want to. You literally made him. I'm gonna have him come in here and ask you to borrow your laptop or say that mom needs it for something. And then he's gonna destroy it. Why? This mom is literally a manipulator. She's like, he let you beat up his laptop. Isn't that so nice of him? No, you like literally told him to beat up his brother's laptop. Like he does not feel good about beating up his brother's laptop. And she's like, didn't it feel good? Yeah, it felt good, didn't it? Yeah, beating the fuck out of his laptop. That must have felt good, right? Tell Jake you're sorry. Sorry for slamming him. Sorry. Give him a hug. I did. No, be for real. You're his big brother. Sorry for slamming you. Okay. There, it up. Really? Because... Because you're a jerk. Because... Because why? Because I ruined everything. It was a prank fail because you took it too far. Like, I understand the parents are trying to like, teach their kids these life lessons, like apologize to your brother, be genuine, be sincere, but still, this is just humiliating to put out on the internet. Like, I couldn't imagine these kids going to school and, like, their friends seeing this video and being like, I, I saw your parents prank your brother. Like, that's humiliating and embarrassing to them. Like, these life lessons should be precious and very personal to the family. And putting these on the internet just for profit on your kids looks cheap on you and is not okay at all. Anyways, you guys, there are way more clips of that family of five or a daddy of five family. If you guys want me to react to more videos like this just let me know i didn't want to do too many videos up from their channel i just wanted to start with one just because i felt like it's a good intro anyways you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you like these like commentary 
reaction type of videos Let me know because I'm starting to like really get into the groove of YouTube again Let me know what type of videos you guys want to see in the comments below Also, if you guys don't know already, I have a podcast which is out on all streaming platforms It's called the young and curious all the information is in the description below you guys are gonna love this podcast I go over so many different topics We dive so deep into like everything from parenting to horror stories to literally what it's like to be behind the scene of the influencer industry If you guys want to listen to my podcast young and curious It's out on all streaming services and you can listen to it right now with the link in the description Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I'm very 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 active on Instagram I usually am communicating with you guys on my discord or my Instagram like daily So if you want to talk to me more or like give me ideas or just kind of be involved in the mo fam Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye Beep, beep, pop, 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 boop. Heather? Heather, if you're watching this, I'm scared of you. You, you. you scare me. Imagine what their family reunions look like.